every area that has a Sinn Féin councillor or Sinn Féin activist, the area tends to, mm. tends to be better afterwards because Sinn Féin people see problems and they, and they solve them. They have a tendency to get the job done. And that doesn't mean uh, going to Dublin as had been done up to now and allowing the permanent government, which is the civil service, they remain the big decision makers. Sinn Féin will not be afraid to take on those people. Take nothing for granted. There's every single vote in the county. I would now like to introduce two Republicans of very high calibre, Martin McGuinness and Shamie Morris. <laughs> The first conversation I had with Ian Paisley, he said to me, these are his exact words, you know, Martin, we can rule ourselves. We don't need these people coming over from England telling us what to do. <laughs> and that was common ground. I felt that we could stand on. In the year that I was in government with Ian Paisley, and I, and I listened often to <coughs> politicians in the south of our country recriminating about the past, about this, that and the other. In the year that I was in government with Ian Paisley, he and I had plenty to recriminate about, but there wasn't one word of recrimination between the two of us. I was in the same position with Peter Robinson for eight years, not one word of recrimination when we got into a room to talk about how to move the process forward. And that should be an example. That should be an example to others about whether or not they are genuine about peace and about reconciliation. In this election now, upcoming, the political landscape is going to change again. And I believe dramatically. Sinn Féin has never been better organised throughout every one of Ireland's 30, 32 counties than where we are today. And throughout the South, in this general election, we have high quality candidates who will put forward the Sinn Féin manifesto in a very powerful and articulate way. So this is a real opportunity for the people of Tipperary to be part of joining the rising. <laughs> Our fantastic candidate in this election, Sinn Féin Tipperary, have arrived. This is an incredible sight to see such a huge crowd of Republicans in a room. I'm deeply honoured. I was first elected to lead the town council in 2004. I've contested two previous general elections, and with the support of my comrades throughout the county, we managed substantially to increase this, the Sinn Féin vote on each occasion. When I was growing up, the state did everything in their power <coughs> to break the back of republicanism in Tipperary, included serious state intimidation, the attorney of my father and many republicans around the county. But we remain unbroken, unbowed and unapologetic. I have never been afraid to take on the establishment and the action politics and cronyism of Fine Gael, Labour and Fianna Fáil. The last two governments have been among the most regressive and damaging that we have seen since the foundation of the state. We were told Labour offset the right-wing conservative economic policies of Fine Gael. Instead, that pretend left party rolled over and betrayed the very principles in which it was founded here in 1912 in Clamell. The party of Larkin and Connolly has sunk deeply since then. Our health system is crumbling. Our elderly and sick are waiting on trolleys for hours in the hope of being treated. This is not the sort of Ireland that the men and women of 1916 envisioned. This is a country where what's in your pocket dictates your right to health care. A country that has, been one, has seen one of the worst health systems in Europe. When Labour were sinking, they brought us all with them. Fine Gael have always been known as the party of the wealthy. The cynicism of taking something that is a human right and attempting to turn it into a money-making scam, stealing one of Ireland's, in fact, one of Tipperary's most natural resources, Loch Derrick. The prices. They have given us a housing crisis the likes of which has never been seen in Ireland. Our health system simply has not fallen apart on its own. Our social housing policy has simply not become disastrous 
overnight all by itself. Those and other failings are a direct results of the policies of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael and Labour governments. They have bankrupted and broken this republic, but not our dream of one. Some towns and villages have no guarantee within miles, leaving farming communities, communities to the mercy of untouchable gangs. Fianna Gael and Labour like to pat themselves in the back when they talk about recovery, but recovery for whom? All of Joel Burton and Enda Kenny's constant rhetoric does not change the fact that we have children living in hotels and hostels. We are now seeing homelessness on the streets of Tipperary. Some of those don't live through the experience. Only a few months ago, I was involved in a case where a man died on the streets of Nina, in the town of the Minister for, for, for Housing. If that is not an indictment of government policy, then nothing is. But in this room tonight <coughs> are a Sinn Féin activists that have been on the streets with the people all year round. No other party can say that. Tipperary needs a functioning north-south corridor. Even more than Fianna Fáil needs a sense of morality. It really is as bad as that. With the support of everyone in this room, we have a genuine opportunity to do our bit to elect the Sinn Féin TD for Tipperary, the first in 98 years. how hard my fellow councillors and you here have worked up to this point. It is, our, it is the five councillors in this county that are dictating the pace of the other 35 councillors that are, that are used to just getting elected and do nothing after that. Davy Dunn spent all Christmas pumping water in Carrick and Shore. <laughs> and been to Torres with Dave Dunn and Tom Melvin and Terry and to Cassie and Anthony Brown. I can tell you, you are respected for the work that you are In this once in a lifetime historical year 2016, a hundred years after the signing of the proclamation, we have a unique opportunity to realise the ideas put forward <coughs> in this document. It is a living document that has been neglected and has remained unfulfilled for a hundred years. It is our living document. This is our time as Republicans to reclaim, reclaim the proclamation and see that the ideals and principles set out in it come to fruition. This is our chance to make a real change and to let the people of Tipperary see that we are all <coughs> better off with Sinn Féin. For us, this is the year that the real work starts. This is our second push to finish the job started 100 years ago. Together, we can build a new republic because this one is broken. Together, we will do this. Together, we will push forward to our republic, like Kayla, for a mere moment.